With the recent disappointment of Zhong Li, many were very unenthusiastic that the next promotional character released would be another Geo character. In fact, most of you watching right now probably rolled on the banner hoping to get to rate up 4 stars and were very dismayed when you had your pity reset by a character you didn't want. In that case, spare me a few minutes of your time and I'll explain why Albedo is absolutely insane and why he's set up to be one of the best supports in the game. His elemental skill is one of the best in the game, he is the ideal geo support going into the 1.3 geo buffs, and he requires little resources to have an immediate impact. Before we continue, I just wanted to quickly say that less than 10% of my viewers are actually subscribed. If you like content like this, make sure to hit that button to keep up to date with all my content. My next video will be listing all the best team comps to play Albedo in, so make sure you're subbed so that you can watch that video when it goes live. Thank you in advance. Now, back to the video. Albedo has one of the best elemental skills in the game. To understand why this is the case, we need to first understand what a good elemental skill is. In terms of supports, an elemental skill should fill one of these four roles. 1. Provide shielding, resistances, healing, or buffs that stay on your active character. 2. Create powerful elemental reactions and added damage that persists when swapped out. 3. Generate consistent energy particles. And 4. Amplify the damage ceiling of your DPS's combo sequence. An example would be Fischl or Shang Ling, both who leave up turrets that deal damage and proc elemental reactions even after they're swapped out. Likewise, Xin Yan gives a shield and provides you durability while also buffing your physical attack damage. While a good support has an elemental skill that can do one of these four, a great support is one that can do all four in one, and Albedo fits this bill. Let's take a closer look at Albedo's E. Albedo's E does damage on use and stays on field for an extended duration of time. His cooldown for his ability is so short that it's practically on the field 24-7. Every 2 seconds when an enemy takes damage, this field creates a Blossom Shard that does AoE damage around that enemy. Think of it as the Geo version of Oz, only if Oz did AoE damage per attack. This is amazing passive damage, and on top of this, it generates one Geo Elemental Particle per hit. It acts like a battery to fuel all your character's energy meters. Not only this, having it proc every 2 seconds means that between that internal cooldown, you can also proc other powerful reactions to maximize your DPS. To give you an example of what I mean, if you're playing Child, Fischl, and Albedo as a core 3 in your comp, you can proc Crystallize, then immediately afterwards proc Electro Charge with how fast Child attacks in the Dagger form. This is added damage since Oz can only attack so fast, so being able to fill in that space with Blossom Shards helps to raise your overall damage ceiling. Because the field lasts for 30 seconds at a time, you can just place your E with Albedo, then swap out to your greedy carries such as Razor or Child who love being on the field at all times. When their cooldowns end, you can simply refresh Albedo's E uptime and then rinse and repeat. The elemental skill also procs crystallized reactions which drop elemental shields based on the elemental status of the enemy. This is so underrated because it gives you free durability every 2 seconds and reduces the damage you take in a fight by a lot. As long as you micromanage picking up shield shards, you should rarely have any shield downtime and take any damage. This also opens up the flexibility for you to run powerful artifact combinations like Archaic Petra or Bolid 4-Piece. Albedo's E is everything you could possibly want in a good support skill, and because of this, no matter where you slot him, he's going to excel in his role and raise the damage potential of your team immediately. With his release, Albedo has instantly become the best Geo support going into the 1.3 Geo buffs. This mostly pertains to those who play Ningguang DPS, however it works whether you play Noel, Geo Traveler, or Zhongli DPS too. Many may think that the buff Zhongli will be a better combo with Ningguang, however all signs from the Geo buffs are pointing to Albedo. This is due to the Geo Resonance now decreasing enemy Geo Resistance by 20% for 15 seconds when they are damaged. This has huge implications because Albedo's kit relies on him dealing a lot of sustained damage with his E follow-up. 
The reduction in Geo Resistance gives him even more burst support potential than before. Compare this to Zhongli's E, which does lackluster damage, and the answer is clear. Albedo also doesn't rely on RNG to generate energy, meaning that your Geo characters will be able to get their burst out more frequently than ever before. In my team comp video for Albedo that's coming out shortly after this one, I go into more detail on my preferred Geo main team builds and how to play them. If Ningguang mains weren't excited before with just above Salone, they should be celebrating at how well Albedo positions Ningguang to break out of her underrated status and be acknowledged as a legit DPS threat that is on the same level as some of the other established 5-star DPS. Lastly, and this is probably my simplest point, but debatably my most important point, Albedo requires very little resources to get going. The damage percentage on both his E and his Burst are relatively high, and they also have additional defense scaling. This means that you don't necessarily need perfect artifacts with the perfect main and substats to have him feel relevant. He makes rolling double defense on substats workable and doesn't need much energy recharge since his burst requirement is so low and his E generates so much energy consistently. There's also a bunch of sets that work on him just fine, from 4-piece Noblesse to 4-piece Petra, or just a mix of Gladiator, 2-piece, two 2-piece two Gambler, 2-piece two Noblesse, 2-piece Petra, you get the point. Albedo also has the perk of being to run perfectly fine at C0, which some of these other 5 stars you really want to have at least one or two constellations before they can really make a big difference in terms of your team comp. Being able to have a support that can make a difference day one means you can immediately play him and feel the impact with him being on your team. That's not something you can say about just any support in the game. It's special, and it's just another bonus to having him in your collection. I didn't get to mention this because it didn't really fit into one of my main arguments, but his burst is just generically good because of how hard it scales and how much damage it can do by itself. It's a very short cooldown with a very low energy cost and has one of the shortest animations out of any 5 star burst sequence. This means you can quickly snap to him, cast his burst, and snap back faster to your DPS and allow you to do more damage. This isn't that big of a deal, but it's a nice cherry on top. The AoE is great because it allows your pedals to follow up with AoE damage of its own, and either contributes even more to a big AoE party, or fills a hole in a party that's focused on superconduct slash freeze single target damage. The fact that this is geo damage also means that you'll rarely find enemies that are immune, which is great to have in every circumstance. I'm not going to say that Albedo changes everything, because to be frank, he really doesn't. He's certainly nice to have in comps that have a core 3 and are looking for a good 4th member, but you're not going to miss him that badly compared to a character like Venti. With that all being said, if you have him, he is such a treat and a breath of fresh air in terms of adding more creativity and variety into how we perceive the game and the so-called meta that comes with all these different characters. His elemental skill is one of the best in the game, he is the ideal Geo support going into the 1.3 Geo buffs, and he requires little resources to have an immediate impact. He's fun, great for exploration, and can be a perfect addition to your squad if you just give him the chance. Throw him in, I think you'll all be pleasantly surprised. Thanks for watching, till next time.